Workers in Harare reading a leaflet by socialists' pressure is mounting on Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe after a coup by the army last Wednesday. After he held back from announcing his resignation in a speech on Sunday night, Mugabe was set to face impeachment proceedings on Monday. The leadership of the ruling ZANU-PF party on Sunday expelled Mugabe and his wife Grace, who he had hoped to succeed him. They replaced Mugabe as party leader with former Vice President Emerson Mnangagwa. This ascendant faction within ZANU-PF backed by the military, now hopes to install Mnangagwa as president. Up to 30,000 people were out on the streets of the capital Harare last Saturday celebrating the possibility that Mugabe's days were numbered. The military backed the demonstration to put pressure on Mugabe and some of the slogans reflected that. There were placards reading Not Cube but Cool and Zimbabwe Army, Voice of the People. But ordinary people had their own reasons to march. The working class has suffered under Robert Mugabe's repressive regime, and Grace Mugabe is hated for the family's lavish lifestyle while ordinary people languish in poverty. The International Socialist Organization ISO, the Socialist Workers' Party's sister organization in Zimbabwe, was on the demonstration. One ISO member told Socialist Worker, the demonstration was attended by all ages though mainly the youth and all races in Zimbabwe. The masses were all united. When we left town there were street parties taking place, a sense of celebration even though Mugabe has not yet gone. They added, the army generals are seeking to limit and control the radicalization of the masses. Topple this has to be an opportunity to topple the regime, not replace Mugabe with Manangagwa and the military. A spiraling economic crisis in Zimbabwe has come to a head in the last few weeks. Manangagwa's answer is to open up the economy to international capital and push through more free market reforms. He thinks Mugabe did not capitulate enough to neoliberalism. Manangagwa also wants to normalize relations with the West. That's why former colonial power Britain is gloating at Mugabe's misfortune, and it would happily work with a new military-backed regime. The ISO described him as the darling of the capitalists, white farmers, British and Chinese imperialists. Manangagwa is the ZANU-PF hardman, the face of the deep state, the junta that has ruled Zimbabwe for the last decade, it said in a leaflet on the demonstration. As Manangagwa himself admitted it was him and the generals who saved ZANU-PF after their defeat by Morgan Svingarai and the MDC in the March 2008 election. They organized a scorched earth policy in which hundreds of opposition fighters were killed. It added, Mugabe has failed and he must go, but the working class must not be used by the elites to replace with a neoliberal monster alternative. Sections of the ruling class are now pushing for a grand coalition of the Manangagwa's faction, the military and the Movement for Democratic Change MDC. While founded by the trade unions to oppose Mugabe, the MDC now supports neoliberalism. The Zimbabwean working class will have to assert independent demands to avoid this danger. The ISO member said, we're discussing how we can further broaden the issues and include workers' demands. And we're putting forward the idea of calling for a general strike. The working class in Zimbabwe has previously shown its power. Wielding it again could topple Mugabe and go much further and get rid of the whole rotten regime.